Hi, good day. In this tutorial, I'll be taking you through how to use the wallet feature on our platform. What is the wallet feature? With the wallet feature, you can set up a digital currency and accept payment and have your wallet in your app. That means user can pay to have a specific number of uh, item. Like for example, let's say you create a wallet app, user pays uh, into your PayPal or Stripes and then they get rewarded a specific number of uh, coin in their wallet or let's say fiat as in a form of a currency. So before I proceed, I want to inform you that this feature is only available to paid customers and customers on a white label plan. It is not available on free plan. Uh, so let's get started. I'm going to search for e-wallet. E-wallet as in e-wallet. You can see here it is. So I'm going to click on it. So it's asking me for setup. So I'm going to click go to settings. Uh, transfer enables. When you enable transfers, that means users will be able to transfer coins to each other within your app minimum amount that can be added in the wallet i can put 10 that means you must have at least 10 uh dollars uh those figures are in uh currency you can set it up as a dollar or a nera from your design tab so uh, i'm going to put an admin email that's the admin that receives everything every uh information concerning to this wallet transactions and every other thing so i'm going to click on save now i'm going to create a store here where all the informations are stored i'm going to name it uh, swift speed i'm going to name it uh, my store now i'm going to name this my store as well i'm not going to add any image oh, let me just add this one click ok and then i'll click submit so it still has been created i can check the status here using this qr code or i check by clicking on this any so, so i have any nothing yet so i'm going to go back and i'm going to click on gateways so here is where i configure gateways where users will have to you know pay when they want to order for coin to paypal all you have to do is enter your paypal or sandbox username the signature and the password then you click active i'm going to going to enter everything here if you enter something that is not correct for example is not going to be accepted oh sorry i choose sandbox you have to choose life yeah so i have configured paypal so to configure your credit card if you want users to pay with credit card via stripe then you have to come here he said api credential settings is available in menu payment gateway stripe you can see here's the menu so payment gateway stripes so you click on enable you enter your published key and secret key and you click on save you click save and just enter nonsense and click save so it's going to say invalid because these keys are not in they are not valid ones so you are going to get the correct one from stripes and then enter it here it's, it's usually uh in the stripe account so let's assume the payment is set up if you use a bills pay you can set up bills pay but it's usually this, this, this particular bills pay is popular in uh brazil i think uh so if you want us to integrate more payment methods you can actually contact us uh we can integrate more payments if your project requires it so promo code you can create a promo code where you can give discount to users so i'm going to name this the i'm just naming whatever i want type any description and you can make it by percentage or fixed so let me put fixed let me put you to 
minimo amount is two two total promo code quantity i can put one one yeah valid until 21 valid until one all uh, right it's active if i uncheck this that means this promo code will not work so i'm going to click on summit so here i can check all the history i can check all transactions at the moment there are no transactions users wallet at the moment you can see users wallet so here is where you update users wallet manually if you want to update users wallet you can give them money manually so let me just try the the app on the app side uh store wallet you can see the wallet for your store is active but there's been no any yet so i'm going to refresh this you can see wow key wallet so you can see wow so these are the wallet looks like you can click on p so enter your email address um can see you can see this is the user so i'm going to click on the user money cannot be transferred to the same account so i have to transfer to somebody else so let me just try to clean this the users cannot be found so i have to send money to a user well, I can add money to my wallet. Let me try to add a hundred dollar. It said add money to test app wallet. So I have a promo code. I don't have any promo code. So I'm going to click on proceed. I'm going to select my means of payment, which is PayPal. Then I'm going to click on pay now. So it says fails because uh, my PayPal. Uh, the PayPal uh, IDs that I set up using the correct one, but if it's the correct one, I'll be referred to the PayPal website and I'll make payment and the hundred dollars will be added to my account. But yeah, I can manually, as an admin, you can manually edit amount of money that is in user wallet. Take this user for example. I want to edit the money in his wallet. I'll go to user's wallet. This is the user. Hit this one. So I'm going to add money to his wallet. I will add fifty thousand dollars. Select mood. I will select online. I will select credit. Transaction ID. I will enter the ID of the transaction. Page as the remark. Then I will click save. So you can see this is the amount of money that is in this user wallet. So you can also manually control the figures and the amount of money in as uh that that will appear on the user's wallet so i'm going to go to the wallet i'm going to go to the user now to test and then click refresh you can see you can see fifty thousand dollars in the user wallet can you see and he will also be sent to the user that they have fifty thousand there in their wallet. you can see credit by test app you can see Fifty thousand. you can see this is the transaction history so that is how to use the wallet feature if you if you enjoyed this tutorial please kindly subscribe to our channel so have a wonderful day thank you